So I've let that dry off quite considerably. But while it is still shiny, I don't know if you can see that, not completely dry, I've dipped a small brush. This is that number one that we looked at when we were testing our brushes. And I'm just going to, again, I'm holding it up this end because I don't want a lot of control. I'm just going to run this across bits of the wash. So what we want to get is a sort of a wood grain. We're not talking proper trompe l'oeil wood graining um, effects here. We just want something to make the background behind the plate a bit interesting. So just wiggle it along. That's with the raw umber. Vary the pressure on the brush, remember. And where there's still puddles of water, the colour is spreading out quite nicely. So you'd have little knots in the wood. I'm also then, just for a bit of difference, a bit of variety, dropping a bit of that mixture of the cadmium yellow and the raw umber. So that is the start of our veiling. Just give that a couple of minutes to dry off and then with your big brush, your half inch or your inch, just gently drag those across a bit. So you're just smudging them a bit. And again the other way. And then we're going to put a little more raw rumba, just to make a sort of a wood grain effect. You can tinker about with this as long as you like, really. And if you get too much water, just take a bit of absorbent kitchen towel and just mop bits off. In fact, you can do that because then you've got like paler bits on your wood, so it's not all the same colour. I think that's my table creaking under there, I can hear. There's a little bit more there. Oh, look how that's spread there. Big puddle of water, so it's spread nicely. It's a fantasy wood, don't ask me what sort it is. And then that brush again and just just smudge across a bit. And that as a background, when it's dried out, will work perfectly well as a bit of something better than just a flat wash. So remember washes, you use them a lot, you use them in big areas like skies. And if you are using it on a big area, remember you must wet your paper first. Get your colour mixed first, if, you, if you're mixing more than one colour, then wet your paper and then put your colour on. If you wet your paper, then mix your colour and then go to it, your, your wet area might well have dried out.